this video, I'm going to show you my favorite way to beat man coverage in Madden 24 right now. Very simple route combo, and it is out of the play PA slot corner in the gun trip side end formation. If you want to get my entire trip side end offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that down in the description. You can get the entire ebook for just 10 bucks, and you can get access to over 15 different offensive and defensive ebooks that we have available in the Patreon. Again, you can sign up by clicking the link down in the description. So what we're going to do with this play here today is we're going to zig route our inside trips receiver, which is going to allow us uh, to have essentially a post, and then we're going to have that whip route, and then we're going to have the running back on a Texas pattern. Now, what I like to do with the rest of this play, uh, really that's it. Uh, with the tight end, you can put him on a streak, or you can leave him on the corner route, and then we're just going to motion block this outside trips receiver. What you're going to see against man coverage is this zig is really consistent and one of the best ways to attack man coverage in this game. So what your opponent is going to have to do if you go to something like this is they're going to have to have a hard flat defender over there on the left side to be able to defend the quick, uh, the quick whip, whip route. Generally speaking, what most people will do whenever you start to do something like that adjustment is they're going to have to have uh, maybe a coverage defense on the field. And what you'll see is this, this post to Devin Hester over the middle is one of the really good post routes in this game because it cuts super sharp and can give you the ability to beat both man and zone coverages because it can get underneath any kind of deep blue zone and it can also get a really good an animation um, against man. As you see right here, nice rack catch animation, able to beat the man coverage over the middle of the field. Now the other thing that we have on this play is if the user decides, hey, I want to go guard the uh, post route, then what they're going to be forced to deal with, because again, they got to have a hard flight for the whip, and now they're going to play like a mid-read defender and go take the post route uh, to the triangle receiver. The problem with that is now the whole middle of the field is going to be open to this running back Texas pattern, and you'll see what I'm talking about right here. He's going to cut outside, comes over the middle, there's really nobody there, and we're able to hit that running back over the middle. Now, if they're glowing like they are in practice mode, uh, what you might want to do with this is you might want to go ahead and uh, just possession catch that if you're in that situation. I also recommend when you when you block this guy, I would snap him over here. I find this is a little bit more consistent of a beater when you snap the outside trips receiver on the actual trips side of the formation. It's going to, I think, be just better. It's going to be more glitchier in terms of how it's going to manipulate your opponent's adjustments. And again, obviously, they're in a max coverage uh, defense here. But again, very simple. He's going to cut inside. Pass lead inside, you can possession catch that. A lot of times you're going to be able to rack catch that. And essentially what we're getting here is a whip zig and or a, a zig post angle route uh, concept. Now, if you want to leave the tight end on the corner route, you can. But again, we're just basically going to put their user defender in a position where he's going to have to choose. Is he going to guard the tight end? Um, or I'm sorry, is he going to guard the running back or is he going to guard the post? In this example right here, he's going to choose to go guard the running back. So then we can just hit this post right over the top just like that. This play is also really well equipped to attack zone coverage because you're going to be able to free form and pass lead through a lot of different zones. For example, let's say your opponent runs a cover four. Again, they're going to have to have uh, some hard flat coverage to be able to uh, basically you know, bag everything. But what you'll see is this post is going to get over the top of really any kind of curl, curl flat, um, really any kind of zone over there. They're going to have to have a 30-yard cloud over there to be able to defend that. And most people uh, don't do that, uh, especially pressed up like that. Most people aren't going to have uh, cloud flats, especially if they have to press them up. And then what you'll also see here is you can also throw it before it gets to the cloud flat just like that. So they're kind of in that same position where they're going to have to basically user – uh, the deep post route on the field, but they also have to have uh, hard flats on the play. And when you're running a zone coverage, especially against trip side in, you don't want to just have hard flats. You want to have like you want to have Babel or you want to have some kind of double flat because we'll be able to hit other stuff on you. But as you can see here, if they don't have hard flats, we can just check down to the whip route and take the easy yards that the defense is going to give us. Which in turn now they're going to have some hard flats on the field. So. Again, they're probably going to have to drop back more people in coverage. Their user is going to have to lurk the uh, sharp cutting post route over the middle of the field. And then this is where this angle route becomes really valuable because you can throw this over in this pocket just like that and get a feel for a couple of quick yards. This play is super effective against both man coverage and zone coverage. One of my favorite ways uh, to be able to attack both. If you don't have um, running back apprentice, you can always just use, utilize 
a motion slant and block your running back. But I love trip side in this year, especially against man and zone right now. I think the motion setups out of trips are really tough to defend. I think there's uh, some other cool things that we can do out of trips, which we talk about uh, in the actual trip side in offensive ebook. So if you want to get access to the full offensive ebook, just join the Patreon. The link's going to be down below. Thanks for watching the video. Again, for just 10 bucks, you'll get access to all of my uh, Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.